Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer photos or videos from your Android phone over to your Windows computer and I'm going to be showing you how to do this through USB. So as long as your computer has USB ports either on the front of it or the back of it or if it's a laptop you could possibly have these on the side of your computer then what you want to do is take the charging cable that came with your phone. This is the one that I have here. Uh, for my OnePlus 7 Pro. That's the end that's gonna go into the computer. And then this end is gonna go into my phone. So it's really as simple as plugging in it to the back of your PC or wherever you have an open USB port. And then the other end I'm gonna plug into my phone and then I'll take you to the next step in this process. Hey guys, it's also important for me to note that if you're having issues with your phone connecting to your computer over USB, what you wanna do is in your phone settings, drag down the top screen area and try to find your little gear settings and click on that. And then click on where it says Bluetooth and device connection. Basically what we're trying to do is find the area where it says USB. And then we're gonna click on where it says USB under the Bluetooth and device connection area. And make sure that your USB settings are toggled to the file transfer option. If it's in no data transfer, then you're not gonna be able to transfer those photos or videos from your Android phone over to your computer. So just make sure that you have file transfer selected and you should be good to go at that point. So now I'm gonna head on over to my computer to take you into the next steps of this process. All right, guys, so now I'm over on my computer, and as soon as you plug your phone in, you could potentially get one of these that pops up, and it shows you the internal storage of your phone. This is really great if this pops up because all you have to do is open up your internal storage and then find the folder that has your photos or videos in it. And a lot of you, it's going to be called DCIM, but there might be another miscellaneous folder or maybe one that's called pictures or something like that that has your photos and videos in it. But opening up DCIM for me and then opening up camera, which is all of the photos and videos that I've taken with my camera, and then that will open them up at that point. But if this file explorer doesn't automatically open up for you what you're gonna want to do is find the little search magnifying glass that is on the taskbar of your Windows computer so we're gonna open that up and then down in the search area type in file Explorer and it should be right there at the top file Explorer application go ahead and click on that and then it's gonna open up this same file Explorer page at this point all you have to do is find where your phone is over here on the side for me it's called GM 1917 Perhaps yours might be named something that's more recognizable as to what your phone would be called, but all I have to do is click on that and it opens up that same internal storage page that I was on prior that had automatically popped up for me in my instance. But again, if that file explorer page for your phone does not automatically pop up when you plug into your computer, again, you can find it by going into the file explorer just by searching it really easily. So now going back to the area where my camera was, so I'm gonna open up the camera folder. Now let's say I wanted to take this photo of my cat and put it onto my computer. So it's really just as easy as drag and dropping it to whatever folder or location you want it to be on your computer. We can see over here in our file explorer on the side, there's a folder that's called pictures. So if I want it in this pictures folder that's on my PC, again, it's as simple as just drag and dropping it over into the pictures area. Now, let's say you wanted to put it into a specific folder on your desktop, for instance. As you can see, I have a lot of folders on my desktop. This is often the case because I plan ahead of all the videos that I wanna make for my YouTube channel. So these are all specific video folders uh, for what I'm gonna be making on YouTube. But just right click somewhere on your desktop and then go to new and then click folder. And let's say you wanna have a folder on your desktop completely dedicated to your pictures. So just call it something like pictures and you can put that folder wherever you want. And again, let's say I wanted to take this picture of my cat and put it into this folder onto my computer. So I just drag it and drop it and then it transfers over. So now I can open up that pictures folder and we can now see there is my cat right there. And this photo has successfully been transferred from my phone over to my computer. And you can put these photos wherever you want, whichever folder that you want to drop them in. Just simply pick them up out of the area in your phone where all of those 
photos are stored and just drag and drop them to wherever you want them to be. So again, just to recap, what you wanna do is take your phone, plug it in to your computer using the USB cable, preferably the USB cord that came with your phone when you bought it because there are USB cables out there that don't necessarily transfer data. So even though it's a USB cable that might be able to charge your phone, it might not have the ability to transfer those pictures over to your computer. So once you have it plugged in, you just need to make sure that you have the USB setting to file transfer. And then you just open up the file explorer, find exactly where your phone is, open up the internal storage of your phone. And eventually you should be able to find the folder that has all of your pictures in them. And you can just drag and drop whichever pictures you want onto your computer. You actually don't even necessarily need to drop them in a specific folder. If you wanted to, you could just drop it right onto your desktop itself so it's easy to find. And then you can decide where you want to drag and drop those photos later on. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.